some of the greats have all gone broke. I mean, the greats, the biggest of the biggest. And you openly shared on stage that you'd been broke. Broke, yeah. Broke, broke twice. Why did that happen? You know, you're a man that had wonderful principles, principles that have made people billionaires. What went wrong in, the, in that time that people can learn, learn from that? One of the problems of going to school is they teach you two bad habits. Don't make mistakes. Mm. So how do you learn if you don't make mistakes? Yeah. A baby cannot walk if they never fall down. Yes. Right? Yes. You don't ride to ride a bicycle unless you fall off. Yes. But our schools say if you, a baby falls down, he's stupid. That's what schools do. They label you smart or stupid at a very young age just because you make a mistake. So that's, mis that's mistake number one. And number two is if you cooperate in school, like at test time. And in school, that's called cheating. But in the real world of entrepreneurship, I cheat. I have the best accountants, the smartest you know, attorneys, and we fight as a team. Whereas professors like my poor dad, they fight by themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's why I showed pictures of how we, when we're at flight school learning how to fly. Well, military pilots always fly in teams. And when we attack, we attack in teams. But in the business world, because our professors are a bunch of idiots, they tell you to fight on your own, which is nuts. Mm. You get crucified. Mm. So that's why the accountants and the attorneys and the doctors, they pay the highest taxes. Mm. So that's not too bright, but mm. they're the smartest guy from their graduating class. Yeah. That's why I say a college degree is artificial intelligence. When it comes to money, they have no intelligence. So if somebody's amassed great wealth following your principles, what would you say to them to help them protect that, that don't, don't fall into the challenge of going bankrupt? What advice would you give? Well, you're going to make mistakes. And the other thing is, you know, you, you have to have a good team. When we rolled into combat, there was four of us per flight. So when, when I rolled in and started shooting, I knew the moment I started to pull off, my gut, my wingman was on top of it, mm. keeping the heads down. I'd go back up and I'd take care of them coming down. But the doctors, lawyers, the accountants and all this, they fight on their own. Mm. They got crucified on there. Mm. Guys like, they go, how is that guy who did so badly in school so rich? Mm. Well, I have a good team and they don't. Accountants hang out with accountants, imagine that. Yeah. What a horrible thought that is. So what you're saying is, get the right people behind you. You have to have a team. Yeah. I have accountants, attorneys. Uh, I have the best real estate guys and the best stock guys. And I, I don't own stocks. I produce stocks. So as I was saying, I took, I take, my goal was to take companies public on different stock exchanges. Yeah. So years ago, I took my first gold mine public on a Toronto stock exchange, a TSE. I raised $27 million for it. This was years ago. It wasn't much money. And we struck gold in China. Well, I don't do business in China anymore because as soon as we struck gold, the Chinese took it. So that's why I said, I learned a very important word. It's called country risk. I don't do business in, war, in countries where the government's corrupt. So Australia and New Zealand, your country risk is zero. Oh. This, is, this is a very good place to do business. Beautifully regulated. But I won't do business in China because they'll steal everything. Mm. So I learned that one. So the next company I took public was on a New York Stock Exchange. Mm. At this time it was a gold mine in Utah. So no country risk went, went public on a New York Stock Exchange last year. And sometime this year, hopefully, we're gonna go public on NASDAQ. And what we're doing is we're packaging carbon credits because every airline's teamship company, they have you know, the Green New Deal guys, the, mm. they call it the mm. Green New Scam. Mm. We think it's a bunch of BS. But Biden and those boys want a Green Deal. So we, we package a Green Deal and we're gonna take it public on NASDAQ. So my goals are, can I use all the stock exchanges, but they're my stocks. I don't buy somebody else's stocks. Yeah, I heard I'm, a, I'm a selling clearly. shareholder, not a buying shareholder.